Hello and welcome to my first ever tutorial time video. I am McJohn Art and I'll be walking you through my workflow today. I decided to start making these tutorial time videos because I recently broke a thousand subscribers on YouTube, so I'm pretty excited about that and am hoping to continue to grow my YouTube channel and post uh, new art related videos for a long time to come. So with that in mind, if there are any suggestions that you have for this kind of commentary tutorial hybrid, then be sure to let me know uh, since this is all new to me. I'm definitely up for any advice that you have. If you do prefer to just see the speed drawings with the music over top, then maybe I won't do so many of these tutorials. On the flip side of the coin, if you have any specific tutorials that you're looking for that are Photoshop related, then you know, let me know and maybe I can throw something together for you. So the first step here is going to be the rough sketch and the rough sketch can kind of be broken down into two main thoughts. You want to have a good pose and a good camera view of whatever it is that you're trying to capture. So for this picture, I kind of went into it with the idea of drawing an elven archer who would possibly be using some kind of magic with her bow and arrow. Maybe throw in some generic robe or cloak. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. But uh, that was the basic thought. So initially, I was playing around with a few different ideas here. Um, but I kind of like how close her head is to the camera. So the size and uh, overall angle of her head is something that I've kind of already gotten attached to. I'm just kind of trying to play around with the body and see how I can fit it in. Here I'm playing around with the idea of having her shoulder up higher, almost as if she's crouching down, which kind of gives her a rogue kind of hiding in the shadows appearance, which is definitely not all bad. Uh, again, I do like to play around a lot in this uh, rough sketch step. Normally, I'll end up making three or so different sketches before I kind of settle on what I really like. That being said, every once in a while I do kind of uh, strike gold with the first sketch, and I'll stick with that. And that's always fun, because if you find something that you know you want to work with, it, it's a good feeling. So, here I'm playing around with her body. Uh, trying to draw on her second arm and hand, and yeah, that's that's a little tight. Yeah, that's a little tight for me. Tight like my grip on reality. And if you didn't get the reference from Stephen Argyle's tutorial series, then definitely check that out. So yeah, getting back to my tutorial, I'm going to redraw her arm here and uh, kind of reposition the bow, I guess. I kind of liked how the bow was getting framed, so I don't know. I am kind of adding in where the light's going to be coming from, and then I'm going to be drawing her hand black here to kind of give it its own space. Again, that bow is too close to the edge, so yeah. <laughs> I'm not normally afraid in this step to move stuff around, warp it a little bit, shrink it, make it larger. Just play around with the entire picture. Because, yeah, flexibility is a very powerful tool to have in the design process. One of the fun things about having a gray background to work with is that you can add in some of the details with a white brush or paint in some of the lighting early on. I'm gonna add in the arrow here and look at that. Yeah, a little thick as it comes out of the camera, a little warped. But if I bring it out, then the tip is totally lost. But maybe if I move her, then I um, redraw the tip of that arrow, then I can... Yeah. 
So sometimes it works, and sometimes you just gotta roll with the punches. So we're gonna pretend like her arrow is a full length arrow and uh, keep moving. I do use the eraser tool quite a bit in the rough sketch stage. Uh, honestly, I think the eraser tool and the circle brush tool are the only tools that I'm using. I guess I also grab stuff with the move tool and warp stuff, but that's a little bit different. So I do start off at the head, as you might have noticed, and then I move on to the shoulders and I like to get a good pose for the shoulders, which kind of tells me where I want the rest of the body to fall into place. Here I'm noticing the hunchback that I gave her. Yeah, it doesn't really scream elegant elf to me, so we'll take that away. But yeah, we're playing around with more lines here, just trying to figure out what we want. And I'm tempted to start throwing in more details uh, because basically we just have the face to work with. Uh, here I'm kind of outlining the hood. And yeah, I definitely want to keep it simple at this stage, but I need enough points of interest to draw later on in the picture. So I'm going to speed up the process here. And you can see that I add in a little bit of detail with the nose and the hands, playing around with the cloak a bit, and some of the shading. Um, nothing too detailed. I do throw in the belt here and some armor here off to her hip. So, again, a few details here and there, but again, keeping it pretty simple. And then moving on to step two, we have the main focus. And this is probably my favorite step because uh, things are very rough, right? So they're undefined, but since I know that there are a few of these points of interest in the picture that I know are going to be polished in the final draft, I'm going to be working on those points in this uh, step. So you can see at this point, I'm adding in more detail, just kind of adding in where I want the mouth to be with the upper lip, um, drawing in the bottom lip shortly. And uh, this phase, the main focus step, uh, is a step where you kind of go back to the rough sketches that you do in the uh, rough sketch stage, or at least I do. I'll I'll sketch in new content, if you will. So like the mouth and the eyes, if she was going to have tattoos or a necklace or anything like that, then I would start off with sketching that in and then detailing it, uh, polishing it with, you know, nice looking shading, uh, textures and all that good jazz. So essentially, Everything in the picture starts out at that rough sketch stage, and then I just kind of work with it from there. Again, I do switch back from black and white a lot to create the shading that I try to uh, get looking nice and smooth, gradual. Um, this is especially true when it comes to female faces. I have been practicing female faces recently, if you've seen any of my practice portraits, you may have noticed that I, well, I feel like I'm getting better. I, I still have a long way to go, but I feel like I'm getting a little bit more proficient at drawing those. So here I'm upping the flow of my brush and adding some highlights. It's kind of fun to play around with the flow of your brush. The way that I see it is that the flow of your brush kind of tells you what type of brush you're working with. So if you up the flow to something really high, like I would say anything over 10 is fairly high for flow, then you're almost dealing with a marker or pen type of tool where it's really hard to shade with, 
but it does line work really well. And then if you have a flow of something closer to five, then you're going to have more of a darker pencil kind of vibe where you can work with it uh, relatively quickly, but um, it'll still give you a gradual shading as long as you use it softly. And then I bring my brush flow down to uh, flow of one when I'm trying to get that smooth shading and smooth transitions. Again, I have been practicing, but I do have a long way to go with my female faces. So even though I feel like I'm getting a lot better, I, it might not have been the best idea for me to undertake drawing a female face when I'm trying to rush through a video like this. And this is going to be kind of a reoccurring theme for the other videos in this series. I am going to try to rush through the videos to some extent in order to make it so that I only have to speed up the videos that you're actually watching two times the normal speed. So yeah, two times real time. So the thought is, is that this picture in the final stage is going to probably look a lot rougher than most of my artwork will. But I'm hoping that since I'm using the same techniques and it still is hopefully going to turn out to be an all right picture, you'll be able to learn a little something and find it to be maybe minorly enjoyable as you watch me uh, create this piece of artwork. Feel free to subscribe or like or, you know, just tell a friend about this video if you found it at all entertaining or educational. Other than that, feel free to touch base with me in the comments below and stay tuned for the next uh, episode in this three-part series where we'll be going over a couple more steps in my drawing process.